YouTube. What is good? Welcome back to another video, man. Real quick, shout out to y'all. Y'all ain't been hitting the like button, but y'all been running the views up, so I really appreciate that a lot. But definitely hit the like button. You got you you gotta hit the like button. But today we are back with another build video, reviewing some builds. Um, I kind of just like been going through here trying to find some stuff that we can go over. And finding some cool builds, some good builds, going back and forth between bigs, guards, and forwards. Um, and they got some good stuff in the Pro Tune Builder. I really like reviewing these builds because honestly, when I get to the point to where I make another build, I might make one of these um, just because they got cool build names. But anyways, man, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notice so you don't miss an upload. You don't, you don't wanna miss when I drop a video, bro. Um, and hit the like button. Like, I don't make me say mean stuff about your family i don't want to do it but anyways let's get right into the video today we got a chris bosch build position power forward best skill is balance so we finally go balance we're not inside scoring or outside scoring we're in the balanced area archetype dynamic four which i really like a lot because chris bosch is a very dynamic four um he can stretch the floor he can play out the post he could play in the mid range, um, handle the ball. He could do a lot of things really well. And a lot of people don't know that before he got to Miami, he was like really him. Like people sleep on how good he was before he got to Miami. He played great in Miami, but when he was a Raptor with the dreads, he was different. Uh, but description, we got a well-balanced big across the board, scores from all three levels, very true. Accurate passer. Mm. <laughs> agree to disagree yeah, he was a good passer he was a decent passer solid ball handler above average defender i can agree with all those things that's a really good description um to describe chris bosh stature we got seven foot which is outrageous 238 pounds 72 wingspan and the build is just crazy bro like that's that's a big build you're gonna be able to play the four or the five with this build but let's go ahead and get right into the attributes so up first we got close shot 92 which is wonderful. Um, 92 close shot is really good, especially on a seven footer. Then you got 80 driving layup, once again, very good. 80 driving dunk, very good. You're gonna get some good dunk packages. You're gonna get some good layup packages, especially being as big as you are. Then you got 81 standing dunk, once again, really good. 87 post control, probably like, that's super close to like where I like to have my post control is 80 and above, really 79 and above, cause you can get, um, gold post fade phenom that's really good it's a really good badge i do like the 87 post control so the finishing they really tried to make sure that he could finish pretty well and i do like the attributes you got up in there but on to the shooting we got 85 mid-range which is really good because i do think he was a really good mid-range shooter he played out the mid-range a lot um in miami he started stretching the floor a lot more they started making him play the five and he started shooting threes a lot more and then to go with that you got 83 three-pointers so you get some good shooting badges and you get limitless range on a seven footer bro like you can't be mad at that you get the 75 free throw if you're playing fives shooting free throws playing starting five you get fouled you can hit you can hit the free throws pass accuracy you got 87 so not only are you going to be able to throw some really good passes you're going to get some really good badges you're going to get gold dimer gold break starter like those are really good badges i'm pretty sure you get versatile visionary so those are good badges to have especially like on a seven footer you want to get bail out like the build is going to be really good playmaking wise you get a 70 ball handle it's not the best but for a seven footer bro 70 ball handle i feel like is more than enough you're going to get unpluckable on silver like you 70 ball handle is nice but then you're going to get a 60 speed with ball so i don't really like this too much i do wish it could be faster but i understand because they're trying to make this as dynamic of a build as they can without messing up the attributes too much um and it's going to cost a lot more to get speed with ball on a big man build rather than like a guard or small forward <laughs> on to the defense we got 82 interior defense which i told y'all i think 82 is perfect um at the least i think you need to have at least 75 but 82 is wonderful i think that's the perfect spot for um a big man build i don't think you need more than 80 just because playing hands up 
with a 7'2 wingspan and you're seven foot, they're going to give you stops, bro. Now, will it be hard to stop bigger men? Like if you're playing one v ones, or if you're playing like against the build who plays out the post, a really big post build, a really big inside center. Is it going to be a little bit harder? Yes, but you'll still be able to get stops very easily. Um, you don't get much perimeter or steal at all, which is fine because he's not a perimeter defender. I do wish perimeter could be a little bit higher, maybe about 70 to 75, because he did get caught on the perimeter and could guard people on the perimeter, but he was not a great perimeter defender. Um, steal, I don't really care about steal. He wasn't a big, like he wasn't stealing the ball from people two times a game, like it wasn't happening. But you get 84 block, and y'all know, as long as you get high flying denier, that's all I care about. 84 block is also really good because you're gonna get Pink Patroller on Silver. So that's a really good rating. Um, anytime you get Pink Patroller or High Flying Denier, the rating is really good for Block. Onto the rebounding, you get 67 offensive and 92 defensive. Like I said, people are flipping this now and taking a higher offensive rebound because it's cheaper and then a lower defensive rebound. So that way you still get all the badges and can still get rebounds on the offensive and defensive end. If you don't want to change the build name, which I wouldn't, this is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with this. You still get really good rebounding badges. But on to the physicals, you get 67 speed. You're not fast, you're seven foot, bro. You get 60 agility. Once again, you're not quick, you're seven foot. You get 86 strength, which is really good. Um, I'm a big fan of the 86 strength. I think 86 strength is a lot, especially on a seven footer. And then you get 65 vertical. Um, You can't be mad at that. You're going to get high flying denier. You're going to get some good dunking badges. Um, I'm not sure you get posterizer. I don't think you get posterizer. Oh, you do get posterizer on bronze. So you get some good finishing badges still at the 65 vertical. Um, I think the build is really nice. I think it's got some good attributes. I do feel like a couple things could be better. But for what they did, I feel like this is a solid Chris Bosch build. Let's go ahead and get into the badges. So at Legend, you're not going to get any badges. Hall of Fame. You're going to get float game only. That's fine um, because you're going to get a lot of gold badges. And then the gold badges, I told y'all, is like the best bang for your buck if you could get a gold badge. So the gold badges, you get a lot of them. You get box out beast, break starter, dimer, hook specialist, paint prodigy, post fade phenom, post powerhouse, post up poet, and rebound chaser, bro. You can't be mad at those badges. Those are really, really good badges at the gold level. Like, I personally think gold is the best level to have a badge in the game, especially if you're making an all-around build. If you can get a lot of gold badges, your build is going to be really, really good. On to the silver badges, you're going to get Brick Wall, Dead Eye, Off Ball Pest, Paint Controller, Physical Finisher, Post Lockdown, Rise Up, Set Shot Specialist, and Unpluckable. Once again, really good silver badges. Um, for the badges that you get, I think you get some really good silver badges. Like Set Shot Specialist is a really good badge to have silver or gold or higher, of course. But Dead Eye on a seven footer at silver, you can't be mad at that. Paint Patroller on silver at a, as a seven footer, you can't be mad at that. Brick Wall works all the same, whether you're a guard or big. I don't care what no one says, it works all the same, bro. And then you get on pluckable. Like you can't, you can't be too mad at that. And one of the more underrated badges in the game, you get physical finisher. I think physical finisher is a really good badge. And if you're driving to the rack with a seven footer and you get caught with like someone smaller than you, you're probably gonna convert on that layup. But last but not least, let's get to the bronze badges. You're gonna get aerial wizard, bailout, high flying denier, the best badge in the game, immovable enforcer, interceptor. So you get something for steel. Like that's better than nothing. You get limitless range and bronze limitless range is more than enough to shoot consistently pogo stick posterizer and versatile visionary one of the better passing badges in the game especially on bronze um even bailout is a really good badge on bronze so i think you get some good badges with this build i do like this build a lot let's hit continue and see what other shades we get so of course we get chris bosh you get paolo bancara on bobby portis those are pretty good shades um once again i'm not telling you guys to make this build we're really just going over it and um, you can use this build as a template, but you've built a dynamic four. As far as this build being a Chris Bosch build, I would give it a B plus because I would like a couple things to be better. Like maybe his ball handling would be a little bit better. That would be nice. A little bit more perimeter, but that's really it. Now, as far as using this build in all game modes, you can definitely use this build everywhere. Um, you can use this build in the ones, the twos, the threes, the four and the fives. <laughs> I was about to say the fours. 
but you can use this build everywhere. I think it's a really good build. So a grade A to F, I would probably give this build an A just because there's a couple things that I don't like, like perimeter defense I like to have on my bigs, just so that way if you do get caught up against someone, you can play and keep up. Um, but other than that, like an A is a really good grade. But you guys let me know how you feel about this build. Is it good? Is it trash? What would you do to make this build better if you were gonna change it because you don't care about the build name? But just let me know in the comment section what you guys think. I think it's a really good build. You can definitely get away with using this build in all game modes. And um, if I could make a bunch of builds, I would make it. Um, but I appreciate you if you made it this far into the video. Please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new and turn on post notice so you don't miss an upload. And I appreciate you all. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.